I'm going to attempt to be brief in this one because as I was uploading my last video, look, my color's messed up. As I was uploading my last video, I thought of a pretty big thing that I should have covered instead of kittens. Um, and it's the fact that none of my theories are racist and that speaking against the Talmud or the Quran or even the Old Testament, the way many liberals do and don't realize they're just speaking against the Old Testament, which is Jewish, not Christian. It's not racist. Okay? If I was to talk badly about the beautiful Persian people as if they had something wrong with them, I would be racist. If I was to talk about the Semitic Arab people who encompass hundreds of cultures, hundreds of religions, hundreds of systems of belief, many different sects of Christianity. If I'm talking about the Quran, I'm not racist against Arabs. It's like if I was talking about Zoroastrianism, Zoroastrianism, and saying that Zoroastrianism is silly, am I racist against Persian people? For that matter, am I racist against Aryan people? Ooh. My philosophy is that you don't even know what races are. Okay, so don't even tell me that I'm racist. You don't know the fucking history of this planet the way I do. You just don't. You don't know what makes the color of a skin. You don't know what makes skull features and behavioral tendencies. Okay? It has nothing to do with human race. It has to do with the spiritual influence that you allow in your life. Okay? So... Attacking the Talmud for saying what it says. Attacking Zionism for killing who they kill is not racist. It's having a problem with racism. Or at least a problem with bigotry in the case of it, bigotry in the case of Islam, because Muslims apparently they don't care what race you are as long as you convert, and if you don't convert, you have to pay a tax if they you know leave you alive. But the Talmud basically says to its believers, its adherents. That you are the chosen people, you're better than everybody else, and you have the right to take everything from anyone. Because they are lesser beings than you. They are as beasts. That's exactly what it says. Okay? And it says that a child will recuperate its virginity. A slave child can still be sold as a virgin... If it's under three years old. Because it's virginity growth. You want to call me a racist for, for having a problem with that? Believe me. I want you to single yourself out. And defend this book. Because shame on every Christian pastor in this country, and I have personally seen many of them because I have been to dozens of churches all along the Bible Belt. Okay, I have personally seen Christian ministers put the Talmud, the, the, Tal, the Taliban, might as well be the fucking Talmud, the Talmud on the podium, on the pulpit, 
and preach to Christians from the Talmud. Now, while there are some plagiarized good things in the Talmud, there are some plagiarized good things in the Quran. The fact of the matter is, these, the, the Talmud, like the Old Testament, has no place in a Christian church other than to be viewed historically. The reason is because the definition of Christianity is acceptance of the New Covenant. Judaism is adherence to the Old Covenant. The Old Covenant is the Old Testament. The New Covenant is the New Testament. For a Christian to be teaching the Old Covenant, they are teaching the exact opposite of what got Jesus in trouble. Or what got Jesus in trouble. Basically, if you actually educate yourself and read the New Testament with some level of understanding about the Khazarian exile, um, converted people, okay, you can pretty easily see Jesus trash about the establishment that was basically the Jews who took over Palestine because they had the most money. Okay. And they were a kind of a 13th tribe blended with the tribe of Judah, it looks like. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not claiming to know exactly how history translates into modern terminology, but I remember what happened. I remember what didn't happen. And when I find shit that didn't happen, I seek to find the real story or find some evidence or find somebody who knows something. That's part of what I'm doing here. I don't need anybody to tell me what I can look up. I don't need you to tell me that I'm wrong. I don't. You're not going to point out anything to me that I don't already know. Because I've been sitting here trying to debunk myself for four years straight now. Now, if anybody wants to try to debunk me for four years, you might come up with something. But uh, you probably don't have as much time on your hands to devote to my life as I do. You can compare what I'm saying. To anybody. And you can compare my story to anyone. But my wife and I remember each other, and nobody's going to tear that asunder. Okay. Nobody is going to tell me I don't know who I am because I know who I am because I know who she is. And basically, if I'm not who I am, then she's just a figment of my imagination. Well, I'm pointing at the empty chair right there. I know the chair is empty. I am not Clint Eastwood. Um, my wife will be on one of these videos soon. Um, and you can hear all about our past and at least have validity to my basic sanity. About all I can offer you. Because what I am trying to resurrect is knowledge that was intentionally destroyed 
via massacre, via genocide, via just scorched, salted, barren-made earth. And after two millennia of the people that actually know the truth being chased all around the freaking planet, I'm sorry, what I know isn't exactly going to pull right up on fucking Google, is it? Why would it? Now, think about what most people have earnestly prayed about. Not knock the camera around. I'm sorry, camera. Think about what most people have earnestly prayed about for the past 30 years. Okay, for the past 30 years, no matter what faith you are, whether you have faith or whether you're an atheist, one subconscious thing that you've been asking for is the solution to a problem. The problem is, nobody really knows anything, because you weren't there. So until you meet somebody, or at least have somebody available for questioning, or at least suggesting certain details to events long past and forgotten, no one's ever going to know. You don't know because you weren't there. You can hypothesize, you can make theories, you can convince other people that they're stupid for not believing your theories. But you don't know. As a very skeptical, very scientific-minded person, I can firmly say that I did not know. Because I had no reason to trust my own witness or my own judgment. But my wife, you see, we've always found each other. And I spent 30 years in this lifetime doubting that. Only to find her again and have all these things that I had passed off as childhood dreams and wanted to doubt because... Well, frankly, remembering them made my entire life seem pointless. I meet the person who I experience these things with, and we have common memories, so I know these things happen. When me and her first started discovering this is when what I call my awakening occurred. And it gets a lot more complicated than that. That's going to be explained in future videos. But, you know, that's about all I have to say about that. What the hell was this video for? Thought. Wait, hold up. Maybe if I squeeze. Thought. I already remember it. I'm just pretending. Um... Trying to think, uh, any bases that you can cover. Some something pretty important that I want to add to that is my main theory about the Johannites, which is a general way to describe the, those uh, true Hebrews who were hunted to extinction over the past two thousand years, um, in many, many, very large waves. By the way. Um, they were not white. They were mixed. They were, um, salt and pepper. One of the reasons why that tradition was carried through by the original gypsies of salt and pepper was one of the few ways that they could be allowed to remember something they weren't allowed to remember. 
under expulsion, under imperial rule, under some pretty messed up circumstances. Oftentimes, generations would have all their men killed and their women taken as slaves. This is this is this has been done systematically throughout ages. And if any of you think it stopped, it never stopped. It's about to kick the fuck off. Actually, it is currently kicking the fuck off right now. And my main objective, remembering what I remember, is to express to everyone not only that you're in danger and none of you seem to fucking realize it, but the, the, but there's a sad part that I have to remind you who your enemy is. Okay, and it's not Jews, it's not Arabs, it's not Muslims, it's not Christians, it's not any group of people. It's a group of demons. It's a group of what is often called Nephilim. And the quickest way I can reference it to people is to say Kazaria. What you'll find when you search Kazaria is likely to going to be a bunch of different races telling you a bunch of different versions of a very similar story. And these... Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to say they're all racist. Uh, 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 a lot of them are blatant, obvious racist. Okay? But some of them are just like, kind of like, coming from the same place as my last vi last couple, as this video, my last video. I'm just like, what the hell? You can't question what these books say without being called racist? And pointing out the fact that the Khazars are not real Jews. And for them to be the ones benefiting from Holocaust guilt, and being allowed to destroy society only to make us ripe for a Russian fuck invasion. It's, it's ridiculous. And, you know, if you want to call me names for having a clue, by all means. I've never bothered to warn people, even before I woke up, I've never bothered to warn people about things, and they didn't happen, okay? You, you, you're not going to convince me that I'm wrong, and anybody who actually takes a step to believe me and actually does the original source research, let me Google it, and takes into effect the theories that I will be presenting in future videos, of course, you're, you're not going to have any doubt in your mind. You're going to be awake, you're going to be aware, and you're never going to get fooled again. I got one minute left. On the subject of awakeness, I just want to add a couple things. I uh, was really good in science. I'm top 97% on all standardized testing in science. I was in gifted honors classes in science. I am a sci-fi fan. I know as much as, you know, your average serious geek knows about astronomy, about physics, about quantum mechanics, probably quite a bit more because I have a considerably higher IQ. I used to be the guy that, if you had a choice, you'd want to cheat off of in science class. Okay? As I said in my, 
in, in one of my previous videos, I've had people who did cheat off of me claim that when I said what I'm about to say, I must be a moron. Because, you know, I tend to say things without thinking them through. Yeah. So, here it goes. Get ready to laugh, because that's what I did. The Earth is flat. NASA is basically a satanic production studio. The idea of the Big Bang and evolution and all these rationalizations that they need to justify the fictional productions you have all come to worship, um, it's all just there to confuse you. It's all there to get you to have pseudo-logic, to have false evidence to have lies to convince you that you don't need God, that God doesn't exist. That's the only point of it. And for you to tell yourself that mathematical conjecture, not recorded verified observation, is science, you are being deceived. You are believing a religion. Okay. To believe that men evolved from monkeys, or to be, believe that the universe evolved from a big bang, is a belief. It is a religion. It cannot be proven under laboratory conditions. There has been no conclusive evidence of it at all. And in fact, when it comes to the big bang, and to all space-based video and photographs in general, if all of it, and it is, is demonstrably fake, then all the philosophical conclusions derived from that are based upon a lie. So not only do you believe in a religion, because if it's mathematical conjecture, not a scientific observation, then it's okay. But you are actually believing in a completely fabricated false religion. I don't want to sound like a bigot, but you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Can you be a bigot towards atheists? I don't know. They pretty much spend all their time calling everybody else stupid. I don't think atheists are stupid. I think one of the most clever lies and the most well-orchestrated deceptions ever undertaken by mankind has deceived you. I think that's understandable because it's the most well conceived of well orchestrated deception mankind's ever ever taken. And um man, brainwashing is a hell of a system. You can't just go to school and not wind up brainwashed. You go to school, you wind up thinking at least that evolution is very likely impossible, even though there really, there's no evidence of it. There's just no evidence of it at all. You can't just tell me there's a pattern and make the shit up that connects it. Okay? No. There's never been any recorded observations of upward down species progression. There has been side to side. Green body and genetic Up or down species movement, side to side species movement. There has been side to side species movement, but there has not been no single instance of recorded up and down species progression. Side to side species progression is the result of diet, environment, and chemical pollution. Yeah, I can see why chemical companies are always sponsoring these documentaries about evolution. And if I have to further explain this to you, just don't, don't bother watching. That's two. 
That's two. Connect them together, you get four. Two plus two is four. Chemical companies want you to believe in evolution so they can cover their fucking tracks. Again, I'm a liberal Democrat. But evolution is fucking ridiculous. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself if you were ever stupid enough to believe it. And don't don't get defensive. I call myself stupid all the time. It's how one gets smarter. If you've never called yourself stupid, you're probably a perpetual dumbass. Cheers.